Hi, my name is Grant Jennings, Senior Strategic Marketing Engineer for Lattice Semiconductor. As the industry evolves, differences in interfaces between processors and displays naturally occurs. Whenever the interface type is different between the processor and the display, a bridge is required. And whenever the number of interfaces on the display does not match the application processor, a bridge is also required. Examples of where the interface doesn't match on the application processor or display side is when the application processor has a legacy interface like CMOS or LVDS and you're trying to connect to a mobile display with, say, MIPI DSI. This commonly occurs for human machine interfacing, smart home, smart TV and display, wearables, and IoT. Lattice Crosslink is the world's first programmable interfacing video bridge with a variety of programmable interfaces surrounding a programmable FPGA fabric. It can handle a variety of interfaces such as CMOS, LVDS, MIPI DSI, as well as peripheral interfaces such as SPI and I2C. It does this at the lowest power, tens of milliwatts in normal operation, has the highest performance available with 6 gigabits per second per FI, and the smallest footprint, as small as 6 millimeters squared. For more information, visit us at lattice.com, and thanks for watching.